Welcome back to Educator.com. This is Bookkeeping Basics, Accounting 101, all you need to know to use QuickBooks. Now, the thing that we need to do with, with accounting or in QuickBooks is we need to understand a little bit about the basics of the accounting equation. Everything starts off with this. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. It's a little equation that you need to understand that all of our assets are the same or equal to our liabilities less equity. Or in the reverse, we can actually sit there and say our liability, our assets minus our li liabilities will equal our equity. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Though what this means is that the left side must always equal the right side. We must always be in balance when we're dealing with accounting. Everything has to be in a balance. <clears throat> so if we have a thousand dollars in assets, we may have a thousand dollars of an equity. So that would be in balance. If we have a thousand dollars in cash, therefore we have a thousand dollars in equity. If we have a thousand dollar vehicle and a loan or liability of a thousand dollars, it's still in balance. So assets, an asset is something that is valuable and an entity owns, and we benefit from or use have use of that particular asset to generate income. So an asset, an asset truly is a tool that we can use to generate income. A vehicle, a truck, cash, money, those are all assets. It's something that an entity has acquired or purchased and that has money value, it's cost or book value, market value, or residual value. An asset can be something physical, such as cash, machinery, inventory, land, and building. An enforceable claim against others, such as accounts receivable, people owe us money, or a right such as a copyright, a patent, trademark, or an assumption such as goodwill. We assume that there's goodwill to the name Coca-Cola, and there's value just in that name alone. So it assists us in generating income. Liabilities. What is a liability? It's a claim against the assets or legal obligations or a person or an organization arising out of past or current transactions or actions. For instance, we buy a truck on and we get a loan for it. Therefore, that transaction creates a liability. Liabilities require mandatory transfer of assets or, of, or provisions of services at specific dates or in determinable future. Accounts and wage payable, accounts payable or wages payable, accrued rent and taxes, these are all, uh, these are all liabilities. <clears throat> Trade debt or short-term or long-term loans. Owner's equity is also termed as a liability because it's an obligation that the company has to its owners. So a liability is something you own. Equity is the ownership or interest or claim of a holder of common stock, ordinary shares, and some types of preferred stock, like preferred shares of a company. On a balance sheet, equity represents funds contributed by the owners or stockholders, plus retained earnings or minus the, or minus the accumulated losses. So equity truly is includes our income and Ex, uh, and expenses, that's equity. The, the net value of our income less our expenses is part of equity. It goes into that. Net worth of a person or a company is computed by subtracting the total liabilities from the total assets. So our total assets minus our total liabilities gives us our equity. And cooperatives equity represents members investment plus retained earnings or minus losses. So an assets minus liabilities equals equity. <clears throat> debit versus credit. Debit versus credit. Hmm, we've always heard these things. The T account. What is this? Let's understand what a debit is and a credit is. Now, to understand this, let's think about how your bank works. You have a bank account with Joe Schmo Bank. So we're going to show you how your bank account works and how your books and check register works in relationship to that. So the T account. Let's look at that. It's called a T account. On one side is debit, which is the left side, and on the right side is the credit column. So the right side versus left side. Left side is debit, right side is credit. And what you do on the left must equal what you do on the right. Everything needs to be in balance, like a, like a scale, if you notice. 
<clears throat> debit and credit. <clears throat> How your bank treats your account. When you make a deposit, your paycheck, you get a thousand dollars, you debit on the left side your check. They will take your cash and they will debit their cash account because now they have your cash, thousand dollars, they put it and they debit their cash. But at the same time, they will record a liability on the right side, your account number. So they're going to do cash and there's going to be a a credit on the other side there. So they will debit the thousand dollars in their cash and credit a thousand dollars in their liability to you. So whenever you put money into your bank account, the bank owes you money. It's therefore, you are a liability to the bank. They look at you as a liability. Whatever your bank account is, they owe you that money. But on the reverse side, how do you handle the same thing? Well, when you get your income, you're going to incorm you're going to record your income as a credit and you're going to debit your bank account. Wait a minute. I've been going throughout my entire life telling the bank is going to credit my account by my deposit. What does that mean? Well, in their books, you're a liability, but on your books, it's an asset. So therefore it's a debit. So you're going to debit your bank while the actual bank, Bank of Joe, is going to credit a liability that they owe to you. Okay, so now you're an asset. And your income, you're going to credit that thousand dollars in income. So you're going to credit income and record income to your business that you made money or your paycheck. You're going to say, I got income here, wage income, and I'm going to debit my, my bank account to show that I increased my bank account by $1,000. But the bank, you're a liability. Now, the most important thing here next is your chart of accounts, the balance sheet accounts and income statements. What are all these? The balance sheet accounts, assets, liabilities, and equity. Assets such as cash, accounts receivable, current assets like inventory, fixed assets like a truck, machinery. There's liabilities. What are liabilities? Accounts payable. What's in accounts payable? Accounts payable are things like we owe money to uh, our, our sell bill. We get an invoice in the mail. We owe them money, but we're not going to pay it right away. We'll put it in as an accounts payable to be paid a, at a short term later. There's short term liabilities. Maybe we have a short term loan that's due in six months. There's payroll liabilities. And we owe the federal government there the taxes that we withhold or credit cards. We might pay that within a year. Long-term liabilities. We might have an auto loan that's due in three years or five years. There's a mortgage, which is 30 year mortgage. Now we look at equity. What is equity? Well, it's capital. What we invest in our business, what we put in, that's capital. Our owner's contribution is cap capital. There's retained earnings. What's retained earnings? That's our our net income, that's our income minus our expenses. That's over a period of time when we have left in the business, we create and retain onto those earnings. We retain them. Our net income flows into the income statement, flows from the income statement. It's our income less our expenses. Retain earnings is our previous year's you know, earnings or loss that we've retained. And our net income is our current income for that current year. Part of the income statement, of course, our income statement, our income, which could be sales and products and services. Our cost of goods sold is, is part of our income. It's our product less the, the cost of that product. So it's our inventory cost, purchase price of the item sold. Then we have our expenses, advertising costs, auto, bank charges, payroll expenses, Payroll, which could be wages, payroll taxes, employer FICA, and in and, and state unemployment insurance. Then there's our insurance costs, etc. There's many different types of expenses that we have. So an income statement is our income minus our expenses equals net income or loss. Hopefully it's an income. 
Now our net income figure flows to the balance sheet under the equity section as net income for the current year. And then the following year, that net income value becomes and just changes name to retain earnings. That's our basics in bookkeeping basics. Thanks for visiting educator.com. We'll see you next time.